What's up guys, it's Kev again for another video and for today's video, we are going to ban. So about a month ago, me and my friends decided to do a road trip and what I mean about a road trip is not just like a four hours drive, a five hours drive, but days of driving. So right now it's September the 25th and we're just getting ready. Um, so for this trip, we are going to drive an RV, going to Banff. The estimated time for for the for our trip is going to be um, 36 hours. I don't know if we're gonna do a lot of stopovers, but it's going to be my first time, actually our first time to rent an RV. But because it's 36 hours, it's gonna be a pain in the ass for just one driver to drive the RV. So we've kind of like decided to switch drivers along the way it's gonna be I think there's gonna be four people who is going to drive the RV so it's really gonna be exciting there's gonna be eight of us in the RV and yeah I think I overpacked because I got a luggage that's that um, we're gonna do hiking as well so I have this I have my drone pack the tripod is ready I'll be showing you what the RV looks like and yeah let's just start from that so this is what the rv looks like it's a 31 feet vehicle with automatic extension and automatic canopy setup this rv can fit 8 to 10 people which is really perfect for a long road trips like what we're doing Both of these couches are convertible to bed for the convenience of sleeping. Also there are two bunk beds as well that has privacy curtains and each of them has separate windows. The upper bunk bed is actually my room for this entire trip. So this is what the washroom looks like, one shower, one toilet bowl, and one vanity sink with storage mirrors. This RV also have a master's bedroom that has a privacy doors and lots of storage cabinets and windows. And this is the driver's side. Nothing really special except the view that you're going to see along the way. And just on top of the driver's section is another half queen bed with a plug-in TV. So since it's our first time driving an RV, we need to be familiarized with these buttons and trackers whether we're low in fresh water, low in electricity, and also to keep track if our gray water tank is almost full. The RV set, now let's go for a road trip.
What are you cooking? Huh? She's cooking this. Well, she she didn't really cook it. Hey, Mom, kasi nang gusto magkape here. Ma, sige lang naman yung black something. So, fresh and black gray. Anong paibahan ng? Kulay. Black may item. Ay, nakakatawa. Dino pa tumaga. Battery, ito yung pinapakita ko sa inyo. Oh my god. Gusto kong makita apat. Puto ko yung bilang ko doon. Para pag generator lang dapat yung G, yung F. After 15 hours of driving, we decided to have a one-hour stopover to eat proper food, also to check our basic necessities like fresh water, electricity, and gas in the RV. It's still a long way to go, but we didn't even notice that we've already drove 15 hours as we are having so much fun. Hey guys, so... What time is it? <laughs> Oh my god, there's subway outside. Look. Yeah, there's subway. I don't know if you can see it. Oh my god, they don't have water. 337. September 26. Hi. <laughs> it's just all. Like. <laughs> Woke up in a gasoline station. <laughs> Where are we? We are middle of the In MC Dono! Oh my god, I, I think I slept like fucking. I don't know where we're at, but. We, what are we doing? We're just getting gas. I'm buying Subway! We have food! Saskatoon, Canada. Nothing but a flatland. But for some reason, the scenery of our drive here is amazing. Hey guys. So, we just killed someone. Look at... Oh my god. <laughs> he did. He's dead, bro. We're currently in one of the towns in Edmonton. I don't even know where, we, where the fuck we're at right now, but <laughs> the bird is dead. Hello? What the hell? No, he's dead. After the stop somewhere before Winnipeg, it's time again for another, I don't know how many hours of driving, but we're getting there. A few kilometers away from Banff, you can already see the beautiful mountains that seems to be welcoming us. I just used to see this amazing views in pictures, stickers, and posters. I even got a tattoo of this place. And now, I'm actually about to approach this place, what they call a low piece of heaven. Up next, we arrive in Jasper, Alberta. <laughs> 